Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. Front brake pad replacement, front rotor replacement on your GMC terrain. Got the wheel turned. Of course, you got your vehicle jacked up. Safety stands underneath protecting you. Probably got a 14 millimeter bolts here and 17 millimeter and probably uh, 15 millimeter bolts probably holding the bracket on. Bracket, caliper, brake rotor. I had to get in here with my screwdriver if possible and collapse the piston. Check the slides that they're free, which they are, so we're looking pretty good. Talked about making sure the master cylinder doesn't overflow, so keep an eye on that as you're collapsing pistons. And like that, squealer on the top, top inner. Just gonna slide on these little notches. I don't know, it looks like maybe 17 or 18 millimeter bolts, but two bolts here to remove the caliper bracket. Use an 18 millimeter. friction fit pieces, hardware here, snaps on and off, you need to clean this up, soap and water, brake clean in the rag, or replace it if you get new parts in the brake pad kit. Pull this out and put a little uh, lubricant on here. We'll put some of this, just some caliper lube. Brake caliper luber is going to put some on the uh, other one of these that's still on the car.
Make sure this inside piece is also pushed in a little bit there. Just like that. Pretty much good to go. We'll see about sliding the rotor off. You can take a hammer if you need to and tap it on the back side, get it machined or replaced. We've uh, lubricated our other piece here, slide. Here's some of the tools I'm using. Torque wrenches, breaker bar, air ratchets, T30 Torx bit for the screw in the rotor. Forgot to tell you about that, but it's there. Screw hole. Screw. T30 Torx bit. Then if you need to collapse this some more, you may need to. You can collapse it with a large channel locks or a C-clamp. Put a brake pad in here, used brake pad, and collapse it if you need to a little further. Slid the rotor on, got the bolt in, 89 inch pounds. I believe is all they want on that, not too much. I got a little orange uh, Loctite of some kind on here. You can clean this up. And if you want to buy some new Loctite, you can probably buy some Loctite Blue 242. Some kind of medium strength Loctite probably be just fine. My opinion is you don't need it. You know, the 140 foot-pounds of torque should be enough to hold it on. I have some, I'll put some on. bolts are 140 foot pounds and these bolts here are 20 foot pounds and the lug nuts are also 140 foot pounds and you put those on in a crisscross pattern when you tighten them up as a rule so that's the basics there No, you can put a little bit of lubricant on the brake pad where it contacts the metal here. I feel pretty good about it with the new hardware, but if you're using old hardware, or maybe if you don't drive a lot or in a rainy, rainy spot or a place that gets rust, you may consider throwing a little bit of lubricant, just a dab on the contact points that are on the brake pads. Collapse the piston just a smidge. That's replacing your front brake pads and rotors. 
nuts are 140, 140 foot pounds. You want to crisscross them when you're tightening them. Put the uh, vehicle on the ground uh, so the tire's touching so it doesn't spin, then uh, snug them up, and then once they're pretty snug, then I would go ahead and let them put the vehicle down the rest of the way and then tighten them to 140. Good luck to you. All right, we're at the master cylinder on our 2012 GMC Terrain brake fluid cap. Just twist on, twist off. Not too tough. It's got a minimum and a maximum on the side. Just want to keep an eye on the level on this. If you're collapsing pistons, you don't want it to overflow. Brake fluid can damage paint. It'll take a while, but it can damage it. So keep an eye on the level. The turkey baster or a clean, lint-free rag, something to uh, maybe suck the fluid out. Keep it from overflowing somehow and you should be fine. And then, of course, we'll top this off at the end, somewhere between the minimum and maximum. Maximum right there. So, well, let's get to the brakes.